Father, heal each one within the sound of our voice, God. Fill them with hope. Fill them with health. Fill them with supernatural strength, oh God. And if any one of them needs to become born again, save them to the uttermost. Lord, when we are weak and weary, help us to remember from where our hope truly comes. By your grace, keep us from misplacing our faith in worldly things for support. Strengthen us to endure all hardships with confidence, knowing every promise you made will come true. We ask you would rise within each of us and empower us to live better and never bitter. Amen. Be our shalom peace. Keep us within your secret place, high above all turmoils of life. Be God our healer. We ask when we are sick, you would saturate each of us with the healing balm of Gilead, causing us to be free from all pain and sickness. Be God our deliverer and free us from all bondages and evil of this world. We ask you would always restore, renew, and revive each of us all the days of our lives. Be our strength when we're feeling we cannot go on. Free us from the weight of all worry and fear. Give us rest from the struggles we daily encounter that are wearing us down. We will remember that you, Lord, are with us. You are here. You are powerful. And you are in control. Thank you, Lord, that we can put our hope in you. Because you are our hope. Though the world may be falling apart all around us, we will yet praise your name. We will say of the Lord, he is our refuge and our fortress. Our God will always be our wraparound shield all the days of our lives. You are our Savior. You are our God. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that we can always turn to you and find peace. Be our peace today and always. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. And we will believe by faith that all these things are done in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Guys, we can talk a little bit about the gospel that's found in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 4. Verse 1 says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I have delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. Verse 4 says, And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. Amen. Guys, those are shouting words. Yes, they are. I'm just going to turn it over to Susie and let her present the ABCs of salvation. Hallelujah. And how many know that salvation is as easy as ABC? Yes, it is. The ABCs of salvation. A, admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. This is where the godly sorrow leads to genuine repentance for sinning against the righteous God. And there is a change of heart. We change our mind and God changes our hearts and regenerates us from the inside out. Amen. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins Amen. and was buried and that God raised Jesus from the dead. This is trusting with all your heart that Jesus Christ is who he said Amen. he is. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Romans 10, 9, it says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and will believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Every single person who has ever lived since Adam will bend their knee and confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Amen. 
If you want to become born again today, then say something like this. Lord, you said in your word that if I confess with my mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, that I would be saved. I confess now that Jesus is my Lord and I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. For it is with my heart I believe and am justified, and it is with my mouth that I confess and am saved. As the scripture says, anyone who trusts in you will never be put to shame. You said that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me and cleansing me and forgiving all my sins, past, present, and future, and for giving me eternal life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, If you have prayed this prayer, you are now a child of God. We're remembering at this time Susie Haynes and the blessing that she was to the kingdom of God as she passed away today. We're remembering her husband. Pray for Pastor Steve. Let's pray together for them. And Father, we just want to come before you right now, Lord, humbly. And we thank you for all the seeds that Steve and Susie Haynes have planted and shared and even issuing, Lord, this uh, video here that uh, we're on the brink of the rapture and that the world is ripe for judgment. Lord, even as they have shared, Father, we pray you hold them, walk with them. We pray you hold Brother Pastor Steve, walk with him, comfort him, encourage him. Let him feel your presence in a very special way right now, Lord in the loss of his wife and the loss of fellowship with his wife on this earth. And Lord, we thank you for Susie Haynes and the faith that she has expressed. And Lord, that she's experiencing now the joy of the promise fulfilled to her of being in your presence. And Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to Help all of us in the body of Christ to be to be ready. To be ready. Lord, as 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 2023 begins here, Father, we pray use us for your glory, Lord. That we hope for rapture every day and also be prepared to suffer for what's coming. Lord, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.